Okay. <clears throat> so I was asked this uh, question on being in a group context, like a student group context in a group and letting go of what others might think, but, you know, having the perception that others might be judging me if I speak and also judging others. So there's a few ways to collapse this duality <clears throat> of the, the feeling of there's a me and there's an others and I, I can judge others and they might be judging me. So there's various ways to do it, to collapse it. I'll share one of my experiences, which was very profound in using the observer or the witnesser. Um, I, I used to uh, go to these 12 step groups and in one of the 12 steps groups, there was a, a sort of personality clash with one of the women there. And every time this woman would come in, there'd be like the story would start to roll. There'd be anger and resentment. And one day, um, this woman came in and, you know, the ego was going, oh, no, she's come in again. Um, and then and then there was um, something there was a, like an intuitive prompt to go to the observer of this whole situation. So there she was sitting. And then I was in the head uh, making all of this story. You know, I don't like this woman. I know this woman doesn't like me. And then it goes, well, what's observing all of this? And so I went to the observer, uh, like the detached observer of me. Uh, and then the detached observer of the woman and the detached observer of the whole room. And then suddenly it was like the, it popped the identification that there was a me and there was a her. Everything went into kind of an infinite lightness. And it was realized that actually not, it's not important. There is no me, there is no thing. The feelings that seem to appear, they just disappeared. And actually there was just a lightness and there wasn't a capacity any longer in the detached observer it was it was an observer actually of the whole room there wasn't really much of an identification with a me or a them or anything really and it was realized that the whole thing was meaningless and uh, the rest of the meeting was actually very enjoyable and flew by and it was just that capacity i think uh, when you're in these intimate situations and these all these judgments and thoughts or past recollections of this person is special in a positive or negative way start to arise it's just the it's the identification which creates the unwillingness to go to the observer and just let go of the whole thing uh, as being immaterial so then it's like it's not important what i say what they say there 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 is no importance of a specific me and a them so that's one way to collapse it it's just um uh, the other thing that i do is like uh, n not to um if there seems to be a situation which seems to be um, having the tendency to want to hook in, identify, or create stories, you know, I, I like this person, I don't like this person, or this is a difficult thing, or which is all ego stuff, really. It's not. It's coming out of the experience of being separated and seeing others as being in separation. So there's the existence that the me is real and others are real. And I should take the me seriously and the others seriously and what I think of them and what they think of me seriously, which is all, all, all very heavy and dualistic. So um, is to be willing to go to the observer. Uh, as you go to the observer, then basically it's something the ego doesn't like. It's like the whole thing is not that important. It's immaterial. But what, uh, and um, if you're not identifying with your thoughts or their thoughts, then the idea of separation. Now, that might seem scary or you're unwilling to do it if it's in a class situation, but definitely in a group situation with just discussion. Uh, you can disidentify if there's thoughts that arise, well, they may think I'm stupid if I don't participate. You can just, you know, that's sort of just a thought as well, you see. Uh, so you, you let that go. So that's one way of using the observer, you see, to let go of the, uh, it's just being heavily identified with self. Oh, well, I'm, I'm a me and there are them and they're probably judging the me and I'm going to judge the them. So that's all uh, dualistic, heavy identification. So you can detach from that. That's one way. I can go, I mean, go into more advanced practices on that later. But when you're, when it seems to be appropriate, you can do that. The other thing is just, to, you know, you, uh, I think we're all course students here. Uh, so the Course in Miracles has got ample, ample lessons you could do on that. But for me, it's the idea. So you, you just have to identify what is the story, you know. Um, so um, my favorite ones are um, 
uh, well, some of the things I do is I pray for a miracle to see the, the situation in truth. I can pray to the Holy Spirit or to God for a miracle and to see the situation in truth. If it's, um, uh, uh, or you can use God's love in which I forgive, um, and, uh, if that's helpful. You can use various lessons. If you're doing the daily lessons, let's say uh, there could be a karmic you know, past life interaction with these people. So if you're doing daily lessons of the Course of Miracles, you just also apply those lessons <clears throat> to um, see if someone just messaged me. Um, so you, you just apply whatever lesson intuitively comes to you from the Course of Miracles. Uh, you can do cancelling beliefs. Um, uh, so I cancel my belief in judgment. I'm an infinite being subject only to my... I cancel my belief others can judge me. I'm an infinite being subject only to what I hold in mind. I cancel my judgments of others. I'm an infinite being subject only to what I hold in mind. Um, you know, or you can do the ones that I, we were doing in the group. I surrender, dear God, my judgments of, of my fellows uh, and I pray for forgiveness, transcendence and miracles. So those can also uh, be done. So if you do it, basically we're dismantling the ego in this situation through the course lessons, through counselings, through the prayer, through the observer. Um, often when there's a lot of karmic baggage with an individual or a group of individuals, heavy feelings arise. You can use the observer or cancellations or you can do the allow the feeling. So um, often if it's a charged situation, um, just working on it on a daily basis with the course, with the observer, or listening to materials from your favorite spiritual teacher will just help you to disappear um, whatever it is that's tying you into that. Okay, I'm gonna stop the recording now, press stop.